In this session, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use predefined drop-down lists as somebody or your assistant or you're entering data in Excel so that the data that you entered is consistently spelled and it's consistently listed correctly based on a previously defined list. So in this case, let's say we have a sales rep and you have four or five salesmen and you're constantly entering and re-entering those names and you want to make sure that those names are all the time spelled appropriately. So what you can do is, and you can use this for products and other things as well, what you can do is in another sheet in your spreadsheet here, you can just create the names, define the names. So we have Hubert, Mark, John, Samantha, and Mimi and so on. So now here when you're entering it, you want always Hubert to be spelled correctly or to have a drop-down list of names. So we have this uh, column here. So now what you do is you go under data here. Under data, we want to do data validation. So basically data validation in this case is that it picks from a list of rules to limit the type of data that can be entered in a cell. It can be numbers, it could be a list of names and so on, just like I mentioned earlier. So we click on data validation and we choose data validation here. And then under what to allow, you, right now it's to allow any value in this column. However, we can go here under choose and choose a list. Only a list of predefined names can be allowed to be entered in there. So then we go here and it's saying, where is your source? Where is your list of data? And then you simply go to the sheet that has the list of names. In this case, it's sheet number four for me and we go over right here now you could pick a little bit of extra space here so that if you add another name in the future you have the capability without having to change the de design of the spreadsheet you can leave some of the blank areas here so then we click ok and now notice we are back to sheet number three so now we are entering sales reps instead of you typing tom notice it doesn't allow you to do that it says a user has restricted values that can be entered here. So now you have this drop down list. You have Hubert, Mark, John, and so on. So we click on Hubert and then you put the date and the item and all that type of stuff. Of course, date shouldn't be allowed like that either. So you can customize that for the next one. So you go to the next one and next one and so on. Now, if for some reason you wanted to add another client or salesperson, remember we had we specified a couple extra cells here. So we go here, we added it on the list. Now we go back and over here, Jonathan is listed as one of the salespeople. So you can use this for products, predefined products for your salespeople and so on. Mm -hmm.